Welcome back. Let's go back and hear from the former hijacker Brati, who tells us about their modus operandi. What happens to the vehicles that you hijack? Where does it go to from there? The Ford Rangers and the Mercedes Benz, they jump the border. There are people who are working with those buses where we just drop them and then those ones, they pay them to transport, to drive those cars to jump the border. And the other cars, do they go locally for spare parts maybe? Yes, especially at the scrapyards. How quick is it to remove a tracking device? The last time uh, I saw them taking it out, it doesn't even take three minutes. And where do you take it out? Most of the time they use right in the middle of the road, somewhere in the location where everyone is passing. It will be like uh, they're fixing a car, but if you, are, if you can think normally, if you, if you are okay in your mind, you will see that how can people start with the foot range, a new foot ranger. When you do a hijacking, are you scared? We don't do a hijacking while you are sober. It's not easy because sometimes you end up doing it to a police officer uh, not being aware. So when you say you're not sober, what do you, what do, you do? We smoke, sometimes we smoke ganja, because I don't take drugs. I, I, I prefer ganja and then I take alcohol. So the ganja makes you quite confident? I become high and I don't, I, I, I don't become scared at all. Did you ever pull the trigger? No. Not even, what, not even warning shot? No, no. Because immediately pull a trigger, that's a sign that that's where even the police that way just passing, they will get their attention from us. So we don't pull a trigger at all. And which are the areas you targeted most? In Houteng, we were targeting Santen for ways, like the areas where we know that there are those cars that we want. If they said what well, Fort Rangers, we go to a nearest car rental dealers. We check the Fort Rangers number plates and then we go and uh, uh, buy number plates with those numbers. There is someone who's printing us number plates at that moment. And any policemen involved with your gang at the time? There were. There were, there were policemen who were involved that we, 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 uh, used to help us, especially uh, to tell us on the radios which side Mazin do we go, uh, or the car that we are driving, there is a car that is following us. Since they are having a radio on them, they'll be telling us that if you are this direction, there is a car, uh, there is a car that they just told us now that it's moving this direction and make sure that you change the direction or drop the car there and uh, disappear. Shocking. I'm joined now in the studio by the president of the International Association of Auto Theft Investigators, Philip Opperman, to discuss car hijackings. Good evening to you, Philip, and welcome. Thank what do you make uh, of Brati? He's a very honest criminal. It's exactly what they do. Um, unfortunately, you know, um, there's been a, the hijackings. They, they can't do it sober. Um, it's done, and normally by three to four people. And he's exactly honest. He's, his words are, are too true. I mentioned earlier an average of 45 hijackings each and every day in South Africa. 16,000 and some odd official crime stats. We have a crisis. Correct. No, it is a crisis. And what are we doing about this crisis? Well, there's a lot of initiatives happening at the moment. And uh, I could just mention the IATI initiative, which we've got an IPPP. We've got a public-private partnership with our with uh, law enforcement, with uh, private entities. Uh, we, do, we get involved with uh, cross-border activities, um, been very successful. But Philip, with, with the high crime stats we have, these partnerships are not being effective. <laughs> well, these partnerships are, are, are fairly new. Mm. So really, the police are struggling out there. Uh, since they've done away with specialized units and things, um, it, it's as a battle out there. Will the return of the special unit, for example, the anti-hijacking unit, make a difference? No doubt. So no, why are the police not doing it? I think uh, Minister Becky Taylor is busy looking at that. How many years will it take him, do you think? <laughs> Hopefully quicker, sooner than later. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Yes. Which are the most popular cars being hijacked? Hijackings, there's two categories. You've got the, um, uh, your, your uh, commercial vehicles, which is hijacked for the load. Mm -hmm. And then 
you've got the high value SUV vehicles. Those are exactly like Brad T said, is on orders. So it's not, it, it depends on the order. There isn't actually a popular No, as but such. I, I saw a list of the most popular cars being hijacked. Why don't we name and shame them? <laughs> it's across the board. It's, it's, it's so you're telling me all order. cars are being equally hijacked? Well, the, it depends on the orders. Um, you see, you've got the Ford Rangers going, you've got the Toyota Hiluxes, you've got the X5s, you've got all of them. But as technology is increasing, um, it's the, they can't steal them anymore. They have to hijack them to fulfill these orders. Philip, we heard from Brati a very worrying trend, not relatively new, but for some time, where they hijack you, they take you hostage. They then hold you for a few hours, they wait for midnight, draw more money. That is very scary. That's a very worrying trend. And, and what is being done about that? That, unfortunately, is one of their modus operandi, is, and there's an increase in that. And not only is it uh, just holding them, uh, uh, women are raped, men are badly beaten, um, it's, it's a crisis. And uh, what it is, is it started with, while trying to uninstall the hijacking device, uh, they've got an opportunity. So they find uh, cards, and it's like he says, additional revenue. It's a bonus. He spoke how easily it is to remove a tracking device under three minutes, openly in some of the areas. What's the alternative? Are these tracking devices even effective? Tracking devices are effective. And if you look, hijacked vehicles uh, are a track with a tracking device, 87% of them are recovered because it happens immediately. There's a, a, a quick response to it, and they are recovered. 87% of those vehicles are recovered. Well, uh, on the line, we have Takalani from Tembisa. Good evening to you, Takalani. What's your question or your comment? Um, good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. Your question or comment, please. Um, I've, I've got a comment. Um, what, listen, um, it, it is just very clear that um, what Brad C is saying there is, uh, is that uh, the police are contributing to the uh, crime that is happening to the country. So, you know, these criminals, they can just go out there and target people for no reason. So, obviously, the contribution of the SAPS members is, is, is a very disgrace because uh, the, the, the reason that they, 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 um, they're hijacking people, obviously, there should be a tip off for them to say, guys, go to these areas. So, um, it, it, it is clear that when they go to those areas, they'll be having more information on how things are supposed to be done. So, so that, that, that's clearly that. Uh, there's a deal done before everything happens, and, and you know, so it is a very great concern to say um, the uh, SHS members are one of the great people that are contributing to the crime. Or <laughs> right. Thank that you that for your call, Takalani. In fact, uh, Philip, I want to pick up on that. Prati mentions police involvement. Last week we had a convicted robber talking also about police involvement. How rife is it, and what is being done, in your view, about that? My view, well, uh, Melissa Beckett-Kleller has taken a very strong view on that. And uh, it started already, and corruption is getting uh, ruled out. There's been, there has been corruption. You will always get corruption. Um, but uh, it's being worked on, and they've taken it exceptionally serious. Are police making progress, yes or no? Yes. I would say So, that hang on. If, if police are making progress, Philip, the 45 average would probably come down to, what, 10, hopefully next year? <laughs> the biggest problem... Um, that SAPs have is the, the uh, working with National Prosecuting Authority. Um, police are, are getting the cases, they're making the arrests, criminals are getting out on bail, there's no proper communication with National Prosecuting Authority and the investigation. So the officer. criminal justice system is our problem? It is a, is a problem. And they are recommitting crimes, Yusuf. Um, he's out on bail and he's committing that same crime. Well, I, I had a similar case the other day where somebody got out of bail and committed 40 more hijackings. Well, on the line, we have Mapule from Alexandra in Gauteng. Good evening to you, Mapule. Your question or your comment? Hi, good evening. My comment is the tracker companies, they should really put more stringent measures in place to ensure that they can when their employees provide information outside the boundaries. Why are you in an account? What were you doing? Like they would do in the bank. They should start doing that because they work hand in hand with the criminals where you find that where would the criminals know where the coordinates are? How? And that three minutes. They surely would know this is where the coordinates are. I have a friend whose car was, was hijacked, a brand new two seven. It was hijacked within day two of that car being, being bought by her husband. And when she was in the boot of that car, 
the criminals are talking to someone from the tracker company where they're giving uh, information as uh, to where uh, the tracker uh, is. Thank you for your call, Mapule. Uh, Philip, are tracking companies complicit? You know, that's why it's very important. Or rather staff members. <laughs> It's very important to choose a credible tracking company mm. because they've got very strict uh, criteria in terms of uh, polygraphing their installers and all of that. You do get the odd, you will get an, uh, maybe a disgruntled installer who now becomes a complicit to uninstalling hijacking systems. A real, prob a real problem indeed, Philip. It could be a problem. Well, we continue after the break. Remember to use the hashtag CrimeWatch on social media.